Good day, viewers. Uh, my name is Dr. Kenny De Makinde of Totmark Pharma Center. Uh, in our presentation today, we are going to be looking at uh, the use of agrochemicals in crop production. And I have with me in the house one of my very good friends. Uh, he's going to be introducing himself to you so that I can know who he is. Can we meet you? It is nice to be here. Baba Jide Olubenga Fashino is my own name. I'm the Managing Director of Olu Fashino Investment Limited. I have been into the business of farming and usage of agrochemical for about 14 years now. And my experience in those years have been very fantastic in the area of crops production and sales and usage of agrochemical. Fantastic. I think uh, that 14 years uh, is something uh, that is not small. And so we are going to be learning so much from him and especially uh, what he has been using and what uh, the fantastic result he has been uh, get getting. Now, I must say that uh, the use of agrochemicals in pro crop production is very important, but I find that there is a knowledge gap. People are not conversant with uh, the important agrochemicals they are supposed to use. And uh, even some of them that know some of these agrochemicals, they don't even know how to use it effectively in order to get desired results. And today we are going to be looking at some of those agrochemicals. We know that people are familiar with chemicals that are used just to kill grasses while they are planning, planning to start to do to, to, to their farming. But, there, but beyond that, there are quite a number of other range of agricultures, uh, agrochemicals that you need in order to get fantastic results. And today we are going to be looking at selective herbicide. Mr. Fashner, please tell us what does the, the selective herbicide mean? When you say a selective herbicide in the crops production, it is a kind of herbicide that will leave whatever you plant and deal with other weeds Beautiful. that you did not plant in the farm. Mm -hmm. That's what they call selective herbicides. Sometimes you may not use it when you plant, when the, when, when the, when the crops already germinated. You can use it as free. That is, when you apply that chemical, whatever you plant will germinate. So other weeds will not germinate along with that particular crops that you planted. And that, that, that is fantastic because most time when people plant some things, they find out that weeds have started competing with what they plant. And eventually they will not be able to get uh, the desired result. And today we are going to be introducing some of these selective herbicides. The first one we're going to be talking about is what we call potassium. Potassium is a selective herbicide. And uh, Mr. Fashina has used it a number of times and he's going to be telling us what potassium is all about and how we can use it effectively. Over to you, Mr. Fashina. Thank you very much. We have been We've gotten approval for potassium it's over six years now and it has been in the market although so many people have not gotten the good knowledge of the products but the product is so powerful as an earlier post selective herbicide for tomato, cassava, Irish potato, cocoyam and pepper. Wait, this same product, you said it will preserve as selective herbicide for a range of products you mentioned? Yes. You talk about cassava. Cassava. You talk about uh, tomato. Tomato. You talk about Irish potato. Irish potato. potato. You talk about uh, pepe. Even cocoyam. Cocoyam. That's it. That's when you it. look at the leaves of all these crops that we mentioned, you will discover that the leaves, they resemble. Hmm. And the... Uh, the components that, that made up the, 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 the that made up those leaves leaves of those crops you can see that uh, they, 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 they look alike that was why this potassium is so powerful to select them when you want to use potassium no, before that, we talk about how to use it you mentioned something very important you said uh, is an early post emergence selective 
Abyssinia. Abyssinia. Yes. I want you to explain that. When I say earlier post emergence herbicide for all those crops, it means you use it at any stage. That is, the weeds, the weeds in these crops should not be more than 20 centimeters. That is, they will be either 10 centimeters or under 20 centimeters. That's what they call it in my own dialect. When they are at the stage of that esule, is an earlier stage where the leaves of the weeds, both grass and the broad leaves, they will be under 10 centimeters. The leaves on each of these weeds will be 3, 4, 5. The leaves will not be more than 3, 4, 5. So, at, as at that time, when you apply potassium, potassium will deal with all those weeds. And as at that time, you, can, you, will, you will discover that uh, there will be some vacant spaces where leaves have not developed at all. Potassium will cover all those places, like, like you are using cement to seal up a particular place. For a period of two, two and a half months, no weeds will come up from that place and your tomato or whatever you planted will be growing. So, you also think the, the weeds that we are talking about, they are better attached when they are relatively young. So, it will look like you apply fertilizer to your crops when you deal with the weeds at any yeah, stage yeah, because they will never compete nutrients with whatever you planted and it will be perfect. Okay, so in order to get that kind of results, how many, what, can, you, can you tell us uh, the duration? Maybe we do our planting today. Uh, can we say we we'll wait for the next one week or the next two weeks before we apply potassium? This is the way to go about it. And you know, instruction is a... Uh, is key. It's key. When you follow the guide strictly, you will definitely get the result. As at the time of your transplantation, your field, you, when, when you, you will have prepared your, 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 your soil. In preparing your soil, as at the time of transplanting, your, your, your field must be clean. Mm. It means nothing is available on your field. You transplant your tomato today, Immediately after two weeks, the next thing you do is to apply potassium. As at that time, your weeds will be under 10 centimeters. You put 100 ml of this potassium, 100 ml in 16 liters of a sprayer, and you spray. Mm -hmm. When you spray like that, it will take care of all the weeds, the grasses, and the broad leaves. It will kill all of them. Then your tomato will be coming up. So if you cannot apply it at that stage, if it is up to two on uh, twenty centimeter, it means you are going to increase the dosage of the potassium to between one fifty and two hundred ml. Because the more your weeds grow, the higher the dosage of the chemical you will put in the water. So that is so, how to use it. So we ensure that there is no way. Within six hours of application. If there is rain within six hours of application, it means the chemical will have been washed away. So you will need to reapply again. So before you apply chemical, you try to study whether that we have a favorable weather. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now, this chemical now, can we say it's foliage apply as in does it work on the leaf or it works on the roots? It is a foliar application. When, it, when, when, when you spray it on the leaf, it, it works as contact and systemic. It will first of all land on your leaf. When, when it touches your leaf, it will now go down to the root. Then it will now reflect on the leaf again. You see all those weeds that will be coming down. Mm. They will never develop again. So, uh, Vias... This is the potassium that we have been talking about, and this product is available in all our stores at Totmark Pharma Center, Arigba Joy 4, 
Ota or Okere. You can always also order for it online at farmercenter.com.ng. Uh, it will be sent to you wherever you have. Uh, and uh, this product is good. A number of people have been using it. Mm -hmm. But we just want you to have the right information so that you can know how best you can use it. Uh we in your toting boa. Uh cotan sonic pa um uh chemical tea awa beman look to be yoku is pepper papa julo I want a bag me at tabi to tomato babi paki uh ajile we are like we like you beside me up beside okay uh, oh, that phone, what am I job? Go and walk, or you could see our bad face. But I do a lot in my jack, you live by So, tea about one jack, I bet to me, Lou, I want to buy it. And a consumer, you will get uh, all these products so that you can continue to enjoy uh, your farming business. Uh, so, uh, please, if this is the first time of uh, viewing this uh, video. Or coming to our channel remember to subscribe to our channel and also press the notification button thank you until we come your way again do have a great day